Hola, Benito. Let's go check on the bananas. I'm gonna get some more popping. Had a lot of rain the last two nights, which has been good. So many chiquitas. Oh, and you opened up last night too. Look at you. Look at all the little ones. And these are all full. All these. That's amazing. And I got this little one, that little one, one at the back. Plus this one here for the new year. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not going to be around because we're leaving in a couple days. So I'm going to miss these ones. But the boys next door are going to be down here probably just in time to catch this whole bunch. Which is amazing. So I hope they get to, hope they get to yield the fruit. Which is awesome. And then hopefully in the new year when I'm back, either that one will be going um, or one of these ones. So pretty awesome and then Rebecca added a bunch of color in we're just don't mind the vacuum and stuff we're just cleaning and adding and then we've got my bodega so they finished redoing my roof built me a nice beautiful door sliding door so now it rolls back and forth Got a nice laundry area and a washing area. It's inside, so you're not out in the direct sun. And I've got somewhere now where I can lock my stuff. The water pump is safe. All my materials and my personal stuff is safe. I can fit a dirt bike in there. Neighbor next door just got his. So I want to get mine here in the new year. And then I've got somewhere to lock everything up and everything's good. Um, there's always a, still work to do. And if it's, I've only been down now for a year so it's time consuming but definitely definitely looks a lot better now than what it did when i got here so i'm happy with it we had to repel an all new surface concrete and do everything because all the old stuff was it was just done cheaply and wasn't done correctly so we ripped it all apart ripped all the roof off underneath all the steel come off. We redid and retreated all the eucalyptus logs. Um, Refinished the surface on all the concrete around the whole building and repaled it. They did a beautiful job. So I need more teal paint, which they're going to get for me. So I have it here when I come down again. And I can touch up the teal and do that and add some other stuff in. And we'll paint the shed and get it painted. Yeah, it's just, and then we'll start doing our walkway. So we're going to use these big Contera stones. And we're going to continue out and go all the way along here um, to where I've got my palm trees. We're going to remove those big things of grass, remove them, put them on the other side and some against the wall by the shower. And then we're going to have a nice, big, beautiful walkway. Go all the way out and then around to the shower and out the other entrance. So then you're not walking. It was, it was those yellow stones there, which are these here, which was fine, but I kind of want to use these big stones because the boys next door have them and when they're all done and concreted into place as you can see they don't move they don't go anywhere and they sit up nice and high and you turn them sideways like these ones and it makes you a border so you can have a border flat stones and a border and then make like garden boxes on either side of it where everything plants and stays in so that's the goal so i'll do two stones here and then as soon as i get past the lime trees once I get past those lime trees, then I'm going to open up and do three all the way down and then garden box in my palms. But it's coming. It takes time. Super happy and grateful that everything looks the way it does right now. And I know it's going to take time, especially if I only get down here once a year, maybe twice. But it's going to take time and money. And I have to be very aware and conscious of both. So, because I am by no means in the position to just walk away and spend money. I have to work, I have to work two jobs in order to do this um, and still live back home. So I'm a hustling. So anything I can do down here myself work-wise, 
I have to do it. They've also put my hydro in. So now I'm also connected to hydro and to main hydro. Plus I have solar up on the roof. Uh, so I have the best of both in case a storm comes in and knocks the power out. And they rebuilt my steel on my gates and my tracks for now. So my plan is to paint uh, the steel on the gates a little better color once we do the wall and then do some artwork on the outside of the gate for Casa de las Olas. And the same is right here. I wanna do kind of a really cool bohemian sun wave and everything, almost like Drew Brophy um, in California. I've never seen any of his work, look it up. You'll, you'll recognize it as soon as you see it. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's exactly what I would want right here on this opening wall for guests to take pictures with and things like that. So yeah. For now we're gonna find something else here to do. Maybe go get some blue agaves and do a little transplanting and then we'll tidy up. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow and yeah, leave a comment down below. See you on.